guys, I'm Matt from the Azure team and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this crawling robot. You can look at it as a worm or a caterpillar and then the motor looks like a head, two little eyes. Uh, it moves extremely slowly but in nature worms and caterpillars move slowly as well so that, like that it's okay. This build is in two separate parts and four builds. One part is the body, which is the body, and accessories, which is made up of battery box, which supplies the power, the motor, which also acts as a head if you think about it as a caterpillar, and some supporting wheels, which don't move very easily. So, let's start building. We start with part one, which is the battery for the uh, build. the supporting wheel Now the motor. the body. This is the spiral in the middle and you have to make it 40, 14 times for a 32 long axle. This is nearly complete. This is the nearly complete spiral. Only need it missing two pieces. Now you can you can realize that uh, you can put this wheel onto the axle two different ways. Uh, this way and this way. Now we're going to use that because it always has a different position to create the spiral. So I'm going to look at what position the previous wheel is in and put it in the opposite way so you can see by the lines on the sides. So that's that way so I'm going to put it on the opposite way. As you can see the wheels do not join up. Then take a the, the piece that you have created and slide it on and put it in the next hole. You put it in this piece like so. Put it in this. Finally, then make sure they don't line up and then put on the next piece. Then finish off with another one of these. Then you do that to create a spiral all the way down. 
like so. Now the two ends of the body, these are pretty much the same, the only difference is the fact that, th well, there's only one piece that's different in the build. The only difference is, as you can see, I'm just going to quickly adjust this, <clears throat> is the fact that this red piece is in a different, is on the other opposite side, so it would be on that side. So it's technically the mirror image, but yeah, it's, it's the mirror image. So let's go on to the next piece. The segments of the skin, and for, out of this you are going to need 14. Now with the 14 pieces that you have created, you have to make this, the skin, to go around it. With this mark, you will have to take them apart as I will do now when I add in the extra one, the last one, take them apart to create this pattern. So as promised, I'll do just that. To take it off. Add in three long piece like so. So like so. And then adjust it so it's straight. So none of your axles are breaking. And then connect it to the rest of it. This should go reasonably quickly, even though, oh, you're gonna have to take them apart. So now we add the the spiral into the skin. 
just insert it like so and when it's in you check if each axle is in the right place each section um, is in the right place like so um, right now it isn't so just have to play with it technically to there we go and now it should be in the right place like so so now we add on the two ends and take the body that so far is created and simply not very simply because you have to take this little bit on the bottom part just like previously <coughs> So, and like so, and that piece in. Sorry for any blockage of my hand. Like that. Now we will put together the four separate parts. So first of all, you take the supporting wheel and put it on the side which doesn't have a gear. Like so, it should be very simple. And then you take the motor slash head and you put it on the side which does have the gear and make sure that it fits nicely. You can also take the gear out and then put it in after the uh, motor has been secured in place. Like so, don't push it in fully because we had a problem where it started um, drilling kind of into the motor Oh, shouldn't do that. Anyway, and then connect this to the battery box, and then it's ready. Play with it. <laughs> <laughs> 